Today, we are going to speak on how to increase your average order value. You guys need to understand that it makes me feel so uncomfortable when I see some Shopify stores with an average order value of like $15. I know you're selling a bad product from China that costs two bucks. And that's not what you want to do. I know every dropshipper, every person that tried this business model has started selling, you know, cheap little things because they thought that it was the only thing that you could sell. But the thing with dropshipping is you can sell whatever you desire. And yes, you can use application to increase your average order value. But the most important thing, in my opinion, is the product itself. If you have a great product with a great price and that is great quality, you're going to be able to sell your product at a premium. You're going to be able to have a long lasting Shopify store that is making you consistent income even when you sleep. Okay, maybe it sounds too good to be true in your eyes, but it is not. Why? Because you need to understand that if you really dig down inside of AliExpress, you can really find some gems. You can find products that are pure leather, that are uh, wool, a gold wool. You can find products that are really good quality products. Obviously, there's a lot of cheap products also, but I don't focus on them. I take the time to test the best quality product that I can so my customers will be happy and I will be happy also. So the first thing that you need to do in order to increase your average order value is to find product that looks high quality, that are high quality, and stop selling cheap products that we're that are going to break or that are going to make them, you know, having fun for two seconds and they will be tired of your product. Make them want more. I know advertising on social media, it's all about taking the curiosity of your client and real and um, capitalizing on the impulse purchase of your client in order to make a sale. But if you capitalize on the impulse purchase of them maybe wanting something like a crate jacket and they like what you have done, they like what you sold them, they like how it make them feel, then this customer will become a, current, a recurring customer. And that's what you want when it comes down to longevity. But let's not go down the um, the whole of, let's say, speaking about the longevity of a brand because that's not what it is. What we're going to speak today is how you can make more money. How can you make more without actually doing more? And like I said, the first thing that you need to focus is make sure that you sell good quality products and you don't sell cheap little toys. And you will be able to have an average order value that is going to be higher than 20 bucks. Because I did struggle with that when I started. But that's not the only thing. The second thing that you want to do and you want to implement is a bundle app. A lot of time people, they want more of what they already have, like what they already want. So if you tell them you can have this thing in blue and this thing in red, they're going to buy both colors. At least a big chunk of your client that are going to purchase are going to buy both colors or let's say two colors out of five. So if you have different colors, if you have different size, different options, people are high likely going to buy more depending on what is the product. You don't know how many times we sold, you know, jacket, hoodies, or we sold uh, creams for face, um, you know, facial creams, and people buy way more than you think. Some people even buy seven, six. When you have a running Shopify store that people trust, you can really do wonders with bundle apps. That's the next step after having a good quality product, doing bundles. What should you also focus more? Well, you should focus on upsells, making sure that each one 
of your client has a choice before and after the purchase to increase the average order value. Try to add more to what they want. Okay, do you have a jacket, but it's winter. Do you want a Benny that will fit with that jacket? Do you want nice pants that will fit with that jacket? You need to think about those things if you want to increase your average order value. And, you know, I'm going to leave it at the end of the video, but I have a trick that it's called free money and is going to make you actually free money if you implement this. But like I said, the first thing that you want is make sure that you have a high quality product that is sold at a premium price and that can people can actually believe. People Because people are not dumb. People, they can see through your, let's say it like that, like, you know, I don't want to say the bad word, but they can see through your lies. Let's say it like that. And if they see true lies, they know that the product is not good quality and they're not going to pay $70 for it. But if it's truly good quality, they're going to do it. And after that, if you implement bundles so they can buy more of it or more of that different variation, they're going to buy more. Simple as it is. And the third thing, like I said, upsells are an incredible tool, incredible tool for you to make more money when you're upselling with a Benny or selling with a jeans. And people are going, instead of spending uh, $20, $30, they're going to spend $70, $100, $200. So that's what you want to keep in mind. And guys, what is the secret thing that I want to tell you? And what is the free money thing that I want to tell you? What I implement with my brother inside of our website is that we basically tell them in the cart, we tell them, okay, add um, $2 extra and you are going to have a shipping protection. So basically, we're going to refund you if anything happens to your product. And most of our products, since we have a good supplier, gets delivered in a you know, good matter in a fast way and people are happy. So we're getting $2, $3 on every sale for free because people have no problem with their package and they don't want to lose a product that already costs a premium. So they're going to pay that $2. And this is where you can make a lot of money. And another thing, because, you know, I want to give an extra thing for you guys because you guys have been, you know, so involved in this channel and we're, go we're going to be more than happy, you know, to grow this channel to 10,000 followers by the end of the year. And it's only because of you that we can do those things. And because of you that, you know, we can com continue growing. So what is the last tip that I want to give you? The last tip that I want to give you is on the shipping side. I always charge a shipping. Do you actually believe, actually believe that people are not going to buy your product because it has a $2 shipping fee? People are going to buy your product if they wanted to. Doesn't matter how big the shipping is. Obviously, if you put it at $30, doesn't matter. But, you know, we have, well, if it put it at $30, it doesn't matter. But we have a client right now that sells his product, I believe, like $12. And he has a shipping of $16, something like that. Or I think $20 and a shipping of $16. And he's making thousands of dollars every single day. I've even made a video, a video about this a student. So he's having a higher shipping than the product itself. And people are saying buying. So shipping could be free money for you guys. And because I'm here, let me add you an extra tip. In the shipping, I have two sort of shipping. The first shipping is I basically tell them standard shipping. But the second shipping is priority line. So I basically tell my supplier, every time that you see priority line, you're going to fulfill the order before everybody else. And with that, you can get an extra $3. So now you have a product at a premium price. People buy bundles. People also buy extra little items that they can buy with the product. And they have a few dollars that they're going to pay to protect uh, whatever they have. Also, they're going to pay a shipping because I always make them pay shipping unless it's a big promotion, but most of them, they pay shipping. And lastly, they're going to pay a premium. Most of them are going to pay a premium if they want to skip the line and be fulfilled before anybody else. So just with those few things, I'm increasing my average order value by a few dollars every single time. 
And that's what you need to understand. That's what you need to do in order to make your product more profitable and get out of the way of the $10 average order value with a profit margin of 10%. Here in this channel, we want profit margin on 30, 40, 45%. And in order to do that, you need to be very smart with the average uh, order value that you know you have and not just sell crappy things. So yeah, guys, this is the video of today. Hope you had an amazing uh, day. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comments. See you on the next video. Peace out.